So on the running subcuticular, you're going to bury your knot. How I showed you earlier to start it when you tie yours, tie it parallel with the incision to get it to come together nicely. I don't like how that knot is sticking up, so I'm going to go down deep and bury it. All right, so if you notice my left hand with my forceps, my pinky or my index finger or both are going to be holding that suture out of my way while I suture. Um, you need to suture right close to the skin edge. Plastic surgeons are going to love this stitch for closing because they don't have to take the stitches out and it makes them meet nicely. And of course, their patients are concerned about the cosmesis of it. So you're going to go on the other side. Now there's two ways to do this. There's one that's slightly looser that I call the box stitch because I don't know any other name for it. And then there's what I call the Z stitch. Z stitch. The box stitch, which the OBGYN use on fan and steels where there's really no tension on the incision when the patient stands up, goes around in subcuticular. And here's where my last stitch was. Instead of going back to that, the box stitch goes directly across from it. So again, directly across. It will approximate it, but it's not quite as strong as what I call the Z-stitch. Now the Z-stitch, I've gone in here with my subcuticular. My last stitch is here. You don't want to go behind the last stitch or you lock it, but I go just in front of it. And then it's a tighter closure. So now on this side, there's my last stitch. I go just beyond it. And I call that the Z-stitch. And you get a tighter, tighter closure with that because your suture is going back farther.